Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Shane187, hopefully we've worked out the kinks, the bugs. We've gone back to the old camera for the time being while we're charging the new camera. People were saying that the uh, volume of the Nikon just wasn't up to par with uh, other cameras, but um, just judging what I've heard now, I think you're fucking wrong. I really think you're fucking wrong. You don't know what you're fucking talking about. Quality is quality. And what I heard sounded like, sounded clear. I don't know, you guys get back to me in the comments. I don't think anyone's ever commented in any of my comments, so if anyone leaves a comment, you will break the virginity of my comment section. Because my messaging section is like a nun. No one, it's no man's land. The motherfucker been out there. So yeah, what's been going on? I went part of work. I did a heap of things today. Had to go out to Clayton Spring Valley, Dandenong. Went out to there, here, everywhere. Um, yeah, must have been like a, some alarm went off in uh, Clayton. There was fire trucks everywhere. I trained down there. Didn't want to drive. I hate driving. It really drives me nuts. Driving nuts. Anyway, what can you do about that? So yesterday, I did five videos. Not and uh, not in, something's going on with the camera. It's recording on a different quality of. I'm gonna have to take it, to Ted. Get Ted to work it out. You'll you'll know what's going on with it. He won't let me down, and if he does, <clears throat> just joking. But um, yesterday I did five videos. I wanted to do a video on like this day, what happened on this day. But um, yeah, yesterday was Nicole Kidman's birthday, and one thing uh, I've always Wonder about Nicole is why don't we hear about her father? There's a reason for that, you know that. He was uh, he was involved in uh, he had allegations against him being involved in a s elite sexual pedophile ring, um, and yeah, running out of Sydney. He also. Uh, he also fled Sydney, never faced the allegations, and then killed himself in Singapore, Singapore and under mysterious circumstances. It was pretty bizarre, actually. But yeah, the family's never talked about it. He was a doctor as well. Imagine being at that level. You've studied, you've accomplished so much, but you've died a scumbag. You're known as a scumbag. It fucking haunt me really. I don't know. Some people just don't give a fuck, do they? So yeah, also, the man that was dancing on the ceiling's birthday was yesterday. Guess who that was? Have one guess. It wasn't me. It was Lionel. Lionel Richie. He had a daughter. Nicole Richie. Bit of a firecracker that one. Shit, buddy. Do some things here you wouldn't even know about. So anyhow. Yeah, Nicole Kidman. It was her birthday yesterday. Did I already say that? I don't remember. But yeah. It was her birthday yesterday. I think that's why I brought up the dad. It was also Coco Beware. Very famous uh, WWF superstar back in the 80s. Coco Beware. Imagine having that name. I thought Johnny Bravo. I met a guy named Johnny Bravo. I thought that was a cool name. But I met this... Well, no, I haven't met this guy, but Coco Beware. 
jeez. Uh, Quentin Tarantino, Dust Till Dawn. The uh, one of the other directors that worked on Dust Till Dawn. It was his birthday, Robert Rodriguez. He's uh, done quite a few movies. Um, I couldn't get over that fucking. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, Salma Hayek. <laughs> Damn. Brings a shiver down my spine every time thinking about her. And she's. Uh, I think she's. I think she's in her fifties. You'd have to be in her fifties, I think. Something like that. Something crazy. Still making cars um, have accidents at the traffic lights. Just like this. <laughs> Down on the uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Also, I wanted to talk about. Um, you know that guy, Billy the Kid, yeah? I've always known about him, I've just never been known the story about him and why he's called Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid was born in the 20, 23rd of November in 1859. He was a gunslinger, alright? I think he died at the age of like 21. And he also was involved in a gun... Sh gun sh slinging match or a gun shooting whatever in the wild wild west where he killed 21 people in the same gunfight um he wasn't actually famous until the governor made him famous and the governor made him famous by putting a warrant on his head a bounty on his head he had a bounty on his head from the governor and the governor put the bounty on his head Pretty sad. And once he, they did that, he became a wholesale name. I don't know if they would have paid him in gold or sh or shillings or notes or pounds or pence or bonds or what they would have done. But yeah, someone killed him. He died by the bullet, it said. So he lived by the gun and he died by the gun. So there's something to learn there. You know, it's the thing about being a gangster. Everything's all fun when all your mates are around and shit. But fucking when everyone's fucking grown up and fucking, you know, all abandoned you and all that bullshit. Who you got, mate? You got no one. You only got yourself. So that's the point where I was at. That's why me and you, Mrs. We just, uh... We gave everyone the arse, you know. We kept it ourselves, we brought up our son. Um, yeah, we just we just tried to do good by one another and um, yeah, it just uh, didn't work out the way we planned it. We planned to be together forever. And I'm guaranteed if she was still around, we would be together forever. She was definitely uh, the light in my eye. I don't think I'll ever meet another woman like her, and I don't think I'll ever meet another woman full stop. But anyhow, <coughs> I don't want to meet another woman full stop to begin with, anyway. Um, Ending this one on a downer, I might fucking tune it up a little bit. But I'll tell you about the story. When, as a kid, well, I wasn't a kid, I was like fucking... I think I was about 11. And I literally got stuck in the toilet. Like, literally stuck. I was down there, man, and I was stuck. And the more I was, like, trying to get out of there... The, lot, uh, the more I was getting pushed down and like suction started happening where I was actually I, I had to call the fire brigade right luckily, uh, luckily this is so embarrassing I had a mate there right um the fucking suction lucky oh, man lucky I had a friend there otherwise I'd been fucking stuck for days anyhow 
long story short, called, called the ambulance, uh, the fire brigade. They've helped me off the toilet, right? They've had to cut this toilet seat off my ass. I promise the guy this, it's unbelievable. Oh, I promise I never talk about that. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, this is gonna be like my, uh, psychotherapy session with you guys, you know. It's like uh, AA for people that are just, they haven't, they haven't been, people that have still got an open mind, they, they haven't got a closed mind and the things that I say and the things, you know, about, well, people don't even want to talk about these issues, right, but they need to be talked about. Otherwise, they just get swept under the rug. Oh, don't go in that room. There's something going on in that room. Can't do that shit. Not when kids are involved. Kids are fucking innocent people. I'll tell you something right now, all right? It happened to me. And I promise to God, mate, I will fucking... I'll fight too for nail for another child. Um... If I ever found out that ever happened, I'd, I'd, yeah. I want to do a little bit more about that. And, uh, you know, so if there's anyone that wants to talk about that, or anyone knows someone that wants to talk about that sort of stuff, um, yeah, hit me up. Email me, Shane Thompson, 187 at G mail.com that's all you have to do please email me comment you know we can work something out you know I can black your face out if you don't want to you know but at least tell your story that's all you got to do is tell your story you know don't let this just be a thing oh you know they're not telling the truth or this or that I mean there are people that don't tell the truth but there's a lot of people that are telling the truth, and it's happening too. So, yeah, if you'd like to share your story, please email me, and we can work something out and do a real serious interview. I want to do some more interviews with some homeless people. I just haven't had enough time lately. It's just been hard. I've been really struggling lately with my partner's death and all that. It's been six months, but... It, it's fucking, it just gets harder and harder, so yeah. Anyhow, I'm a lover, I love ya, I'm gonna leave ya, I'm gonna flip me hat back. Like that. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna put this on. Oh, there's a pen. I'm just gonna grab my phone. I'm going to pretend I'm on a phone call. Yeah, Bobby, yeah. We'll break off that deal tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll wire you that uh, 2.5 mil in the morning. Yeah, no drums. All right. Yeah, you put the shipment in the uh, warehouse. Yeah. Yeah, you know which way. You know, the one on that street, you know. Starts with P and Peter Street in um, South Melbourne. Uh, 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 I'm, not, hey, I'm trying to fucking make a video for Christ's sake. Alright, alright, just the cash, is, the cash will be there, the cash will be wired in the morning. You put that shit there, I'll pick it up later. Alright, 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 ciao, ciao. Ciao. Fucking people ringing in here. That was a guy um, about a masseuse and a dog. He's selling a masseuse table and a dog. Anyhow, I'm out here. Shame 187. Alright, check these out. Um, be in it. Killing it Productions. Shane, 
187 killing it 